hello guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a 2023 skincare and makeup routine so today i'm going to be doing the skincare portion of today's video and then you'll obviously see it like later on in the video but another day later this week i'll be doing my makeup routine in the morning getting ready for school so you guys will be able to see that but today i'm going to be doing the skincare portion as i just said so this is what the aftermath of my makeup looks like today so it looks nasty so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it so thank you guys so much for clicking on my video make sure to like subscribe comment and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified every time i post a video and let's go ahead and get, get into it oh my God. hey guys so the last clip was kind of funny because i literally just took like three minutes setting up my camera in there and then i forgot that i have to remove my makeup first silly me so we're gonna go ahead so today i'm gonna be using this simple micellar water and yeah i got this from tj maxx for 3.99 i really like this because it's really um easier to remove your mascara with this rather than my pawns wipes which i still love these they're both affordable so if you guys are thinking about buying them these are from dollar tree and this is from tj maxx these are a dollar 25 and these are 3.99 but i just like this better for removing like black mascara the only thing i really don't like about these is they only come in packs of 10 so you can get through these in like a week but um i put some in this travel bottle so we're gonna go ahead and Remove her makeup. Okay, so that's the aftermath of that. Just gonna check. Yeah, there's still a little bit of mascara left. So sometimes I just like pinch my lashes to see if there's any more left. But I'm gonna finish removing this and then we're gonna yeah, get a little this. scene change. I'm in my bathroom now. And the next step I'm gonna be doing is the Kalanish Cleansing Foam. And this has been featured a little bit, but I don't think I've actually used it correctly on camera so we are going to actually use it right this time okay so typically let this sit for like a minute while i get like my rag and I'm gonna wash this off. So I'm gonna get that. Okay, so typically I do it with warm water, but today uh, didn't feel like it. So we're doing cold, which is really not a problem. And now we're all clean. And so sometimes with my cleansing water that was in my last video, um, but sometimes I use that, sometimes because it has, like, um, witch hazel in it, so it kind of helps with blemishes and stuff like that. But today I'm not going to use it because I don't like to use it every day, because when I do, it typically breaks me out even more. But now we're going to get into more of the interesting So, stuff. first things first, I'm just going to spray my face with some water. Um, I don't really know why I do this. It just feels good so <laughs> i do it and um and it kind of just preps my skin for doing more skincare i guess i don't know it's just kind of i feel like it balances out like the products or i'm just using like water but now i'm using the Kalanish clearing gel and this has also been featured a couple times and i think this is again first time i'm using it right but if you guys want to see what i think about these products you gotta see my last video it'll be right here and um yeah it gives my full opinion on these products today i'm just gonna be using them so don't talk too much 
The next thing I'm going to be using is the Clinique Gel Moisturizer. And I actually really love this. Um, when I first used it, uh, I don't really know how I felt about it. But now I really like it. So... So in the last clip, I added the gel moisturizer. Um, so now I'm going to be using this cream, and this is for like eczema, if you guys know what that is. I'll put like a little definition on the screen. Um, my sister has it. I used to have it when I was a baby, but I grew out of it, I guess. So this is just, it dries out your eczema so that it goes away faster. At least that's what my sister and my mom tell me, but that's what that does. Um, and then I'm using my vitamin C serum. Um, this is from TJ Maxx. And this it was featured for the first time in my last video. And I really like it. Um, it definitely is really brightening. Why did I get not get any product? Oops. Oh, fuck. But I really like it. Um, I feel like it's definitely helped with clearing my acne. Not really acne, but like my little breakouts that I have. Um, and it just gives your face like a really nice glow and shine. And, um, I just mix this in with my moisturizer and that little, um, cream. And it, it feels really nice. And it has a nice like orange note to it. So it smells really good. It makes your face smell good. I just make sure that I get every product mixed in. Because you don't want a product like sitting on top of your face. And I can feel when it's like sitting on top of my face. And I probably add just a little bit too much serum. So it may feel like that. But I'm going to go ahead and move into. Alright, so before we hit that. This is my facial stone, and this really helps for like redness or depuffing. And I had a facial roller. This came from Dollar Tree, and so did the facial ice roller. Um, but it was not doing anything, and I don't like have a mini fridge or anything, so it was just downstairs in the freezer. And then when I was about to do my skincare every day, like I would forget that it was down there. I really want to get a mini fridge skincare fridge so that it's in my room and like any products that I want to put in there like an ice roller or like serums or moisturizers or anything I'll just have it like in my room so that I don't have to go all the way downstairs track for it so I threw it away also because I didn't think I was doing anything anyway on the Dollar Tree but this is the elf enhancing lash serum and brow serum and I really like this product as well um I use it for the first time a couple of videos back recent though but um a couple of videos back and i've been using it for probably almost a month now and i do see like when i use mascara and then i use this at night i feel like it replenishes them and like i do see growth definitely for sure but i also do see the like thickness because i did loosen my lashes for adding too much mascara and um i do see that it's working and then for my eyebrows i think i've said this a million times but i really don't see any difference with them but i just add it because it's for your lashes and brows so why not so now we're gonna move into this and final step for this is lips and so these two products i just bought today if you guys saw my get ready with me on um that account i'll probably put it right here on the screen or i'll link it down below but i bought these two products from sephora today and i'm going to be using them but typically i use carmax and then i use a lip oil that i was gifted um uh, but i have a new lip oil and a lip sleeping mask so i'm excited to try it and i'll put the claims for these two things like on the screen so that you can see the benefits and then I'll let you know how it works whenever I do another one of these or when I talk about these products again. But I'm not sure which one I want to do first. So I feel like I would have put on the 
oil first and then sleeve mask. That's what we're gonna do. So this is the House Labs lip oil. This retails for $24 at Sephora and it is in the shade Primary. And it's a PhD hybrid lip oil. So I'm gonna put the claims on the screen um, on what they say it's supposed to do, the benefits and stuff. Um, I already know what they are. Here's the doe foot, very cute. And, um, but I forgot. like like actual lip gloss so luckily i added this first so i can add in the sephora lip sleeping mask and this is in the does it smell like strawberry or is it the color it does smell like strawberry so yeah but um this is it i'll put the claims right here on the screen so you guys can see but um we're gonna go in with this next and hopefully it'll tone down the color a little But yeah, this one smells a lot like um, strawberries. So I'm gonna wipe just a little bit off and then my mouth on the last clip. But I was able to reapply. That's what it looks like. I added a little bit less lip oil. It definitely makes a difference. And then I just coated it with the lip sleeping mask. But guys, we have made it to the end of my skincare routine. Um, that is basically all I do. Um, pretty much every day. Typically, it takes me like 20-ish minutes to do everything. That was the skincare routine, and now the next clip is going to be me doing my makeup. Hello, guys. Good morning. Welcome to the makeup portion of this video. I'm so excited. Also, if you guys hear background noise, that's the rain because it's unfortunately raining, which I hate rain. Anyway, we're going to get right into it try not to talk too much so that you guys can see my routine but i'll basically show you the product i'm not going to talk about it because i run my mouth and this video will be like 30 minutes long but let's go ahead and get into it also it's currently 5 51 i woke up like 20 minutes so that i have enough time to film this but first things first is the rare beauty tinted moisturizer so we're gonna go ahead and apply that <laughs> bronzer and today we're gonna do the top shade that's definitely the shade I always go with um I'm gonna go ahead and apply Camera. 
Okay, so that's what we're looking like so far. This is honestly like therapy to me. But next we're gonna use the Juvia's Place Blush Duo. And we're gonna use the bubblegum pink at the bottom today. So that's my brush and my stuff. And it's really, really light because I'm not going for like a bam look. I don't go to school with that. But next, we're gonna do highlighter. And I'm gonna use the Fenty Shimmer Stick for this. down below but you know i'm bad at that but thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like subscribe and comment down below your favorite part of today's video and turn on those bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time i post a video and i'll see you in my next one bye